watch, trumpeter Andy Dick gropes Ayanka on TV, then his sick dirty secret comes out. During an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel, trumpeting comedian Andy Dick groped the president's daughter, Ayanka Trump, making her visibly uncomfortable. Now, his sick dirty secret has been exposed, and it will likely be the final nail in the coffin of his already crumbling career. In 2007, long before her father ran for president and her family was subsequently blackballed by Hollywood and the media, Ivanka Trump appeared on Jimmy Kimmel. Also on the show, that evening, was comedian Andy Dick, who couldn't keep his hands to himself. According to 100% Fed Up, when comedian Andy Dick repeatedly slid his hands up and down Ivanka Trump's legs during her interview with Jimmy Kimmel, his liberal audience laughed. However, Dick's unwanted advances ultimately became so uncomfortable and perverted that Kimmel had him removed from the set. The outlet reports that after seeing Ivanka becoming flustered by his inappropriate behavior, Kimmel got fed up with the actions of his guest host and actually asked to have him removed from the stage by security. It would appear that this sort of behavior is nothing out of the ordinary for Dick, who has built his career on disgusting stunts like the one he pulled with Ivanka. He has now been fired from his latest movie over fresh sexual harassment accusations. Apparently, Uncle wasn't the only one Dick groped. I might have kissed somebody on the cheek to say goodbye and then licked them. That's my thing, he even admitted. Dick attempted to play off the very serious accusations against him, saying, I don't grope people anymore. I don't expose myself anymore. I do understand that the temperature in the world right now is delicate. He added, I didn't grope anybody. I might have kissed somebody on the cheek to say goodbye and then licked them. That's my thing, I licked Carrie Fisher at a roast. It's me being funny. I'm not trying to sexually harass people. Unfortunately for Dick, no one is laughing. I didn't grab anybody's genitals, Dick said before admitting that he did proposition people on set. Of course I'm going to proposition people. I'm single, depressed lonely and trying to get a date. They can just say no, and they probably did and then I was done, he said. While it is acceptable to most of us for someone to ask a co-worker on a date, the appropriateness would depend on how the person was approached and asked about it, which at this time isn't quite clear. However, licking another person then excusing it as your thing, isn't funny. It's assault. If spitting on someone is assault with bodily fluid, Licking them surely crosses reasonable boundaries as well. It's odd that we even have to have this discussion. Most people are broken of the funny habit of putting their mouths on other people as toddlers, then again, this is Hollywood and there's not much difference between celebrities and small children. Sadly, Dick is only the latest Hollywood name to be outed as a serial sexual harasser. Indeed. It seems that the liberal cesspool that is Tinseltown is teeming with sadistic perverts who prey on women and children. No wonder they've had such a love affair with Hillary Clinton, she's married to the world's most notorious rapist. It's also rather ironic that this is the same crowd who had issues with Donald Trump's locker room talk from many years ago, where he said salty things about women to another man. They must have forgotten how funny it was to watch Trump's daughter be assaulted on live television as liberals laughed and cheered in the audience. I'm not sure what's worse, the serial sexual harassment coming out of Hollywood or the obvious double standard displayed by liberals once again, once again, 